Number one, what's the difference between the first gen and new Tangem Wallet cards? Both generations of the Tangem Wallet function the same way for key storage. However, the new Tangem Wallet allows you to either create your own seed phrase or import one from another wallet, whereas the first gen wallet only allows you to use the extra cards as your backup. The downside to the first gen wallet is if you lose your cards, then you lose access to your crypto indefinitely. Now with the Tangem 2.0 wallet, even if you lose your cards, as long as you record your seed phrase and you have access to your seed phrase, then you will be able to access all of your funds. By the way, if you do end up wanting the new Tangent Wallet after you're done watching this video, I have a discount code in the description for you. Next, how is the seed phrase generated? The wallet software selects 12 random words based on the BIP39 seed phrase standard. It then converts the chosen string of words into a binary seed, which is also used to generate the private key and the public address pairings. The private key is then uploaded and stored securely on your Tangem card. That said, if you choose to generate a seed phrase with the new Tangem wallet, it is generated in the app, so it will be displayed in the app when you record it. So if you had malware on your phone, for example, and someone happened to be watching you, then they could compromise your wallet. And that is why Tangem suggests that the seed phrase method is not the most secure method, and that's why they made it optional. So you might be wondering, is the seed phrase even safe? Using the optional seed phrase means you could potentially expose it, and that is exactly why the first gen wallets didn't even have a seed phrase because Tangem knows that is a vulnerability. That said, with the first gen wallet, if you lost all your cards, you would lose all your crypto. So there is that risk as well. Personally, I prefer to know my seed phrase. That way I can access my wallet on any brand of wallet. So even if I lose my Tangem cards or they're damaged, I can get another wallet. I have several other hardware wallets that I can import that seed phrase into. So can you import a seed phrase into the new Tangem wallet? Yes, you can. You can import a seed phrase consisting of 12, 15, 18, 21, or 24 words. For example, if you want to import a seed phrase that you generated on your Ledger or Trezor wallet, you can now do that using your Tangem wallet. So what is the bit length of the private key generated by the Tangem card? Well, since it generates a 12 word seed phrase, we can assume that the bit length is 138 bits. The bit length of a hardware wallet is important because it directly relates to the security of your crypto holdings. A longer bit length generally implies a stronger level of encryption and security, making it more difficult for malicious actors to access your funds. So can you create a passphrase using the Tangem wallet? Well, it's not called a passphrase, it's called an access code, and yes, you can using letters, digits, and symbols, and you can make it as long or as short as you want. So really how secure your access code is, is up to you. Notably, you can only set up the access code if you back up all of your cards. One of the most asked questions I get about the Tangem wallet is, is it open source? And the firmware is not open source. However, it has been audited by a Swiss auditing company, Kudelsky Security, and they are also getting another audit done by another Swiss company called Rescue. However, the Tangem app is completely open source and viewable on GitHub, so anyone can audit it. And if you're wondering how long it takes to set up the Tangem wallet, it's one of the quickest wallet setups on the market. It takes just about three minutes to set up all your cards and if you do choose the optional seed phrase method it will take slightly longer just because you have to record your seed phrase and then verify that you recorded it correctly. Another question I often see is, does Tangem support multiple addresses? Currently, the Tangem wallet does not support multiple addresses. However, they are actively working on this highly requested feature. According to Tangem, they want to ensure that it will be secure and convenient before adding it. And once it is added, it will be available on both the first gen and 2.0 Tangem cards. So who knows the private keys of your Tangem card? Does Tangem know your private keys? Fortunately, no one knows your private key. The card doesn't come with a private key installed. It's actually created once you activate your card using the app. Therefore, there's no way that anyone could know it before the card arrives at your doorstep. But how do you know that you bought an original, authentic Tangem wallet? Tangem cards have built-in security features that make them resistant to both physical and software modifications. When using the official Tangem app, it will perform two crucial checks to verify that you have an authentic card. One, it verifies the card was manufactured by Tangem, and two, it confirms that the card is loaded with Tangem's trusted software. 
To ensure your cards are original, again, make sure you download the official Tangem app and make sure that it requires you to create a new wallet when you scan your cards. But what if you lose your phone, you know, the one that has the Tangem app on it and your cards are connected to? Fortunately, it doesn't matter. Your phone doesn't hold any of your assets. It simply acts as a display for your Tangem wallet. The storage of your private keys and signing of transactions is all done by your card. So all you'd have to do is get a new phone, re-download the Tangem app, and then scan your new cards and put in your access code to regain access to your wallet. But what if someone gets a hold of your cards? What if somebody steals your Tangem wallet? Well, they can only get access to your funds if your cards are not linked, meaning they are not backed up. The access code is what prevents unauthorized access to your wallet, and you can only set up the access code if you backed up all of your cards. So Tangem does recommend backing up your cards, creating an access code before you ever put funds onto your wallet. So do you have to update the Tangem card? Actually, the Tangem firmware is installed at the factory and it's non-updatable, so you don't have to worry about updating the card ever. However, you do have to update the app and that will bring in the new features and new blockchain support, for example. All the cards do is ensure secure signing of transactions. So how durable are Tangem wallets? I mean, they are flimsy pieces of plastic after all. You can bend it, twist it. So it definitely feels flimsy, but they are actually super durable. They have an IP68 rating, which is at the top of the IP rating class. So it is dust, water, and temperature proof. So you can submerge it completely in water and it can withstand extremely cold and hot temperatures without being damaged. Also, the secure element chip inside the card is manufactured to last at least 25 years. And I know a lot of people are wondering when Tangem's going to come out with a metal wallet to make it more durable. But honestly, that wouldn't increase the durability or longevity because ultimately there is a time frame or a time limit on how long the chip inside the card will last, which again is 25 years. So really this is as durable as it gets. So you might be wondering, does Tangem provide a warranty? Well, they actually provide the best warranty of all hardware wallets. It's a 25 year product replacement warranty. There is no other wallet on the market that offers this kind of warranty. Now moving into more of the usability side of the card. A lot of people ask, can you stake using Tangem? Currently, you can only stake the crypto stored on your Tangem card using the Wallet Connect protocol and then connecting to a decentralized finance application. But according to Tangem, native staking via the Tangem app will be available very soon. Next, does Tangem support XRP? I get this question all the time. Tangem does support XRP. If there is a cryptocurrency that they do not support, you can request new cryptocurrency additions to the Tangem app by simply adding them on Twitter or joining their telegram and requesting it there but as a card sits right now it supports over 37 blockchain networks and thousands of cryptocurrency so it is very likely that it supports any of the coins that you're currently holding or want to hold in the future so is there a limit to how much crypto your Tangem wallet can actually hold there is no limit and that's for any hardware wallet there's technically no limit to the amount of crypto you can hold because cryptocurrency is not actually stored on your hardware wallet it is stored on the blockchain your wallet it only stores your private key, which is used to access your funds on the blockchain. So no, there's not a limit to how much coins or different tokens you can hold on your Tangem wallet. So how do you upgrade to Tangem 2.0, the new Tangem wallet? Well, there's no way to upgrade. You just have to buy the new card. So if you want the optional seed phrase where you can generate an import seed phrase in your Tangem wallet, you definitely want to get the new Tangem card. If you don't care about that, then you're fine continuing to use your first gen Tangem wallet. Something I've always wondered is why is Tangem so cheap? It's a really affordable wallet. Well, their cost effectiveness is attributed to their minimal hardware design. Unlike many other hardware wallets on the market that also have a user interface like a big touch screen, Tangem lets you use your phone as the interface, so you actually save a lot of money there. The new Tangem wallet only costs $50 for two cards or $60 if you want three cards, and if you use the 10 percent off code in the description of this video it's even cheaper so where is tangem actually made tangem is headquartered in switzerland but they have factories in china and indonesia 
mainly because the secure element chip inside the card, which is, you know, the security of the card, is manufactured by Samsung. This Samsung chip is the same chip that is used in your bank card and your electronic passport if you have one of those. Also, Tangem has warehouses all over the world. They have one in the USA, China, and Europe, mainly for logistical reasons. If you live in the USA, for example, but your wallet is coming from China, that is because they are out of stock in the US warehouse. Speaking of shipping, where does Tangem deliver? Tangem delivers to 140 countries, and there are some countries that they will not ship to. I will leave a full list of those countries in the description for you. So what if Tangem goes out of business? Are we all screwed? According to Tangem, we're not. It'll all be okay. And also they don't plan on going out of business, but if they do, here is what they said. Tangem cards and the app will continue to function. The Tangem app uses the company servers to verify the card's authenticity, synchronize the list of tokens added between backup cards, and calculate the value of the cryptocurrency in your wallet. Without these services, you will still be able to use your Tangem cards, though it will be a little less convenient. So basically, you would still be able to transfer your assets to a new wallet if needed, and if you use the optional seed phrase method, you could just as simply import that seed phrase into a different brand of hardware wallet. You might be wondering, should you get two or three Tangem cards? The number of cards in your set is the number of backups that will ever exist. So if you plan on using the optional seed phrase method, you don't really need to get three cards because you'll have your seed phrase that you can use to recover your wallet. However, if you are planning on not using the seed phrase method, then I definitely recommend getting three cards. That way you do have an extra card card there for backup in case you lose one or even two of them. You'll definitely need that third wallet. And if you're wondering if Tangem has ever been hacked, they have been around since 2018. They have sold nearly 1 million wallets, maybe even more, and there has not been a single report of a hack. Also, make sure to check out this next video to learn all about the new Tangem wallet. I'll see you next time.